Hi, um, welcome to this presentation on the paper ID 212 Towards Empowering Fishermen Community, a case study of Kuala Lumpur, Malaysia. Just going to give you a little bit of introduction on this study. Um, it is about the issues of poverty among the fishing community which still exists till nowadays uh, but we just don't know that over the years how does these uh, factors of poverty are they still the same or not so this is part of the community project that we gathered from uh, a research grant and um, we uh, actually uh, get some small amount of money to further study about the reasons why the poverty still exists and also to link uh, on how this poverty uh, how the technology basically uh, impact on uh, providing solution to the issues of poverty among the fishing community while this is still a pre preliminary research, uh, you cannot expect that this research will give uh, full answers to whatever uh, problem that we have. Um, as we know that poverty um, issues have been taken by the government to improve the quality of life of fishermen. And... Um, in this study, we try to get some insights into the updated real issues. There are already some issues out there, but we want to get the most updated real issues because the last uh, papers that we refer is basically in 2013 and 2015. Uh, and then we want to see um, what are the new issues faced by the fishing community. The subjects under studies are taken uh, from a group of fishermen at Kuala Lumpur, Pahang, Malaysia, in the west, in a peninsula Malaysia. And we have the advantage of approaching this group because it is near to one of Uni 10 campus uh, in Muazzam. Okay, here are the challenges of what we are facing at the Southeast Asia on the depletion of the fisheries, uh, the uh, intrusion of illegal boats from our neighboring countries and also there's not much of um, good uh, artificial reef for the fish to breed hence the number of fish in the seas in our uh, international uh, in our waters are not really much uh, for the fishermen to catch. Uh, we had an experience whereby fishing now becomes seasonal. There are not much, um, you know, there are not much source of fish in in our water. And uh, surprisingly, that um, the intruders are very daring to come into our. Um, uh, areas uh, they they basically no need to wait until the end of the day or midnight you know sometimes with the technology that they have they basically can come uh, and fish quietly uh, during the midday and also during the early morning Okay, um, our another concern is actually not basically a concern, but our concern is, uh, or I've been saying that another concern, sorry, um, about the, you know, fishing community and also the community resilient framework. Community resilient framework is basically about how you empower the community to manage themselves because sometimes, um, you know highlighting things to the government can basically takes time for the government to act uh, but why not the fishing community themselves uh, act or take an action uh, on their uh, you know on their issues and then provide perhaps solutions to the government to further take it up to the next level 
so we are very much um, because nowadays technology internet at the fingertips we think that a fishing community should uh, go towards the community resilient framework so that it can uh, improve their quality of life giving their strong economy with a very good system okay in this study that we try to get some insights about the issues among the current uh, fishing communities uh, is basically we just do uh, qualitative uh, research studies we go to the group of fishing um, through the uh, rompen fishing uh, community association and we were um, you know introduced to 10 local fishermen uh, where we are interviewing them uh, along with some of the subject matter experts such as the uh, authorities of this uh, community association and the respondent from the interview session are those who are willing to talk and share their perception emotion thoughts and feeling without any um, without any uh, feeling of uh, scared or uh, have to control their thoughts and all because we want to have the um, we want to have the uh, first information from from them so this group interviews was conducted by four researchers uh, one of whom acted as a moderator and also another one took notes on the discussion i'm going to share with you on the uh, image that we uh, take photos during the uh, interview sessions so there will be like the four hours interview session was recorded in a video which was then transcribed by the other researcher using NVIVO software. So from the NVIVO software, the analysis uncovers five themes which several more sub-themes underneath. So these five main themes are perception towards using their high-tech gadget suggestions on what are the things need to be considered problem faced by the romping focus group fishermen technology devices as well as government assistance sorry about this typo so the perception towards using the high-tech gadgets are basically the technology importance income from the technology as well as the training where they require training suggestion are basically they need an updated policy fishermen related act alternative employment opportunities as well as social quality development the problem phase is basically they don't have a good communication device not a safe, not a good safety system fish shortages environment issues where there's a lot of pollution government assistance shelters illegal activities and fisheries act as well as role of agency that need to be more active and you know go to the field and help them on the technology device they basically have the um, you know issues on the um, the, the application of satellite uh, some of the very sophisticated boats have the satellite communication to track the location of the boats, uh, the substation, the source for the safety, internet connection, the telephone, the frequency, the spectrum frequency of the communication, fridge detection device, and also a good fridge to basically uh, store their fish. On the government assistance, they need the good fish in markets to promote their products. Uh, close works related to the fishermen association and also the financial assistance okay on the, another result which we do not show in our papers but we show in our presentation is basically if you look at the left image is the um, the rough 
uh, points that we gathered during the interviews. There are about like 14 of them. And these already converted into a framework which you can see those are focused for the sustainable fishing for food security and resilience community in coastal area which we team up into one, two, three, four and five section which is fishing community communication network infrastructure, fishery data for trend analysis and fisheries potential, women and children well-being in fishing fisheries community, rehabilitation of marine resources as well as the emergency response and safety communication system. And the blue box here are all the stakeholders, potential customers, agencies, governments and so on. Okay. Right. So we can say that the four focus areas to be further studied should be the trend analysis and fisheries potential marine fishery data where you need to know that the data of your fishing you know is it, it it's inclining declining and so on and this one need to be captured by census i believe and fishing community communication network and emergency response can basically empower them not only to promote or to market their products, but also to uh, protect their uh, fishing activities. You know, they have been exposed to the intruders where sometimes the intruders are very mean and they brought the weapons and so on. Uh, so, you know, this fishing community, especially the, the class A, the small boats one, are very scared of them. Another one is the rehabilitation of marine uh, resources through the establishment of artificial reef. Um, because, you know, some of the fishing are pre pretty much, uh, uh, you know, vulnerable to any pollutions uh, and some of the boats, the intruder boats that came in, they came in with the trawl boats where the moment that they open their net or the equipment, they can basically scoop out all these small fishes that are breeding. Another one is women and children well-being in fisheries community. We know that women uh, basically helping out with the byproducts of whatever uh, catch fish that they gathered uh, but it is more than that nowadays you know women and children or well-being that the, the educations needs to be um, to be uh, protected you know they also want to have their own economy they also they want to upgrade and their quality of life as well Okay, here are some of the photos that we took during our field studies. These are the arrangement of the interview that we took. These are the, the, these are the moderators. These are the two groups, five and five, from the Fishing Communities Association. And these are the note taker. And this is our groups with the vice president of the uh, Fishing Association Kuala Rompin and also these are the assistant. These are the researchers from our university. These are the groups of um, people, uh, few researchers and also the fishing community. And this is the fishing community uh, association market where the moment that they gather the fish, they straight away sell their fish to, to this market. And these are the next door restaurant. It's part of the sponsorship from the association as well. So they don't need to go out and get all these teas, fruits and so on. Okay, I would like to talk more about, a little bit more about this study. This is a collaboration work between several local universities because we are targeting to many fishing associations throughout the Malaysian uh, Peninsula Malaysia and also uh, in collaboration with the Rompain Fishing Association, of course. Uh, we are fully sponsored by a foundation and joint matching grant, as well as produce several research. We have also produced several research studies that turn out to be another potential uh, grant proposal, as well as commercial training modules uh, for the fishermen. Okay, so yes, 
that's basically it from our presentation. Uh, if you want to know more about the details, please have a look and also read our papers, which will be published by IMSES 2020 uh, conference. Thank you very much.